Iko ready? Ya safari kwa mbu. Ujasewa kwa mbu ya safari kwa mbu. Nadani mkona. Nadani mkona. Sasa nitaifungo tu bila kwa ikapaswa. Utafungo. Iwa tu miyo di. Bila paswa. Bila paswa. So tunaisa hansa. One, two, one, two. Hello, everyone. So let's maintain silence. We want to start our debate. I hope everyone is ready. Okay. Good evening, boys and girls. I would like to call for Osman Mohammed to come and sing the national anthem for us. Please stand up. Tayari kuimba wimbo wa Jumia Afrika Mashariki. E Mungu tuwakomba uwilinde. Ii Afrika Mashariki. Tuwezeshe kuishi kwa amani. Tutimize na malengo yetu. Jumu ya yetu zote tuwilinde. Tuwajibike, tuimarike. Umoja wetu ni nguzo yetu, idu mjumu ya yetu. Kindly please sit down. I would like to call for prayers. A word of prayer from Al-Hitma and our honor. From this role, I don't know the name, sorry. A word of prayer, please. Let's stand. Stand up. Let's bow our head for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you this morning. As we are going to start our debate, help us and protect us and cover us with the Holy Mighty Blood. And in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Thank you. Sit down. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس Hello everyone. So we want to introduce our teachers before we start. So I think uh, we'll start from behind, then we come this side. So we'll just say your name and... Uh, Good afternoon. I'm teacher Jacqueline. Hello, debaters. Hello. How are you? Hi. Okay, I'm Teacher Lois. Welcome to our school. Hello. Hello. I'm Teacher Fidel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So we would like to welcome our guest to AIPCA Bahati. Feel free, feel welcome, and thank you for coming. Oh, I am Teacher Aline. Teacher Aline. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mr. Nicholas from uh, in Al Hikma Integrated Academy, and I'm happy with you this afternoon. Thank you. Good afternoon. Yeah, I'm teacher Edna from Al Hikma Academy. Okay, thank you very much, teachers, and we have Njoro. Okay. Yes, who is, who is going to coordinate the camera and everything? So I'm Teacher Dinais, and uh, uh, we are hosting you, Alikima Academy, in this debate. So welcome and feel at home. Just in case of anything, feel free to ask. Thank you. I would like to call the motion mover, Hodan Osman from al -Hitma. So the motion for today is technology has brought more harm than good. al Hikma Integrated Academy, they are the opposers, so that means they are taking the advantage of technology. Also, the school is the proposers. You're saying the disadvantage of technology. Thank you. I would like to roll the other motion mover. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, my name is Rachel, and thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to explain more about the motto that says technology has done more harm than good. This simply means that the technology, mostly modern technology, examples of them are tablets, laptops, and smartphones, and other digital devices, have done more harm. That means that they have captured some of our people's minds, causing them not to concentrate on their daily chores and instead concentrating on technology. Thank you. Silence, please. 
I would like to call the first person. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to speak. I would like to oppose a motion that says technology has brought more harm than good, simply because technology ensures sustainability. In this day and age, sustainability is crucial. One of the biggest driving factors of digital transformation infrastructure is sustainability. Thank you. Any challenge? Okay, there's no challenge. Okay. The first opposer, please come forward. Proposer, sorry. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to propose the motion that goes by. Technology has done more harm than good to the society. My first point, according to my research, is that the harms caused by technology are lack of sleep, obesity, and cyberbullying. I like to kick off with lack of sleep. According to my research, most people sleep with their phones nearby. Four out of five being that most teens sleep with their phones on their beds. Unfortunately, the light emitted by smartphones has been associated with lack of sleep. Researchers say that emotional stimulation caused by mobile phones or games or engaging forms of social media has been associated with emotional stimulation, which, and most of you can also bear me witness by the pain that erupts in you after you've lost a game to your friend. Fact to note, fact to note is that emotional stimulation can also distrive and put you off from your self-esteem and personality. Second, cyberbullying. Most of you have been cyberbullied. Cyberbullying is just simply being trolled or being embarrassed online. That's according to technology. If there won't be, there will it be technology, people need to be cyberbullied and if, they are, if, if it could be controlled, which can simply can't, which can't simply be controlled, Cyberbullying will, will stop and it can't stop because most people all, always get your pictures online and help, hence continue to show you even more and more. Um, let's go to La Augusta. Most things have been inactive. Simply, be simply because people have been have not been active because okay, you can bear me witness because you're always on your phones at home. You stay at home. You don't so associate with people. You're always staying at home. You don't do any exercise. So this causes ob obesity because you're always sitting up, staying on your phones, not doing not doing any physical exercise. And that's why I say that emotion that technology has caused more harm than good. Thank you. The second opposers. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. I would like to oppose the motion that says technology has brought more harm than good simply because in the past, transportation was really difficult. But now, and also, animals were the main mode of transport. Like, it takes them weeks, months, or days to travel from one country to another. But nowadays, advancement in technology brought us more transportation. And I'd like that. Cars are the best for traveling in the city, and then airplanes are the best for traveling long routes and one country to another within a day. The 
the second proposal. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to propose the motion that says technology has brought more harm than good simply because it has, also, it has brought reduced communication, which has negatively impacted the world, whereby people, people are enclosed in their houses using things like laptops, phone, making them not to, be soci not to socialize. Secondly, I'll talk, uh, I'd like to talk about learning barriers, whereby pupils are indulged in researching things in the internet or referring the answers, not knowing which curriculum to it, to it talks about, either CBC or 844 system. Thank you. The third proposal. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. I would like to oppose the motion that says technology has brought more harm than good, simply because in the past people used to people used to travel for long distance just to seek education, but nowadays, but with the help of Zoom, you can just learn when when you are in home. Thank you. That proposal. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this chance to propose the motion that says technology has done more harm than good simply because the smoke emitted from the cars and industries destroys the ozone layer. When the ozone layer is destroyed, the harmful rays of the sun get into contact with our skin, which causes skin cancer. Secondly, the technology has caused loss of lives because the war in Ukraine and Russia, then the missiles are, missiles are controlled by technology. When they are dodged in a particular area, it costs lots of lives. Thank you. The fourth opposer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to speak. I would like to oppose the motion that says technology has brought more harm than good, mainly because in the past, people used to steal from each other. But with modern technology like CCTV cameras, tracking devices, motion sensors, and car alarms, it is not easy to steal. The next proposal. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving this opportunity to propose the motion that says technology has done more harm than good, simply because when we use our mobile phones, we get diseases such like brain cancer and eye say problems. Thank you. The fifth. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to oppose the motion that says technology has brought more harm than good simply because in medicine and in medicine and healthcare, digital technology could help us transform and sustainable and sustainable system into sustainable ones and provide cheaper, faster and more efficient. Also technology could help us win the battle against cancer. The fifth, prop the fifth proposal.
Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this chance to oppose the motion that says technology has done more uh, has done more harm than to propose the motion that says technology has done more harm than good. Te technology makes people to 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 do things that they are not supposed to do. Like if it's on a Sunday, you stay at home on your phone the whole day then good then you could use the time to go to church or to the mosque in the bible and the quran they they say that you, you should be loyal to god and you should put him first but do not put technology first thank you the floor is open Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to say. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to say my point. I would like to say, um, technology. I, I would like to more, than, more harm than good, simply because with technology we have created water filters that erases most bacteria from the water and and prevents the spread of diseases. Example: cholera and bilharzia. Thank you. Any challenge? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to oppose whatever they, they said earlier. They actually said that tracking device is used, so it's not easy to steal. But you can still hack the, the cameras. So how does it help? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to speak. I would like to challenge my fellow friend here. Like earlier, he said, um, watching most people watch phones, watch too much phones, and play too much games, and thus having lack of sleep. But that depends on the individual person. You you can find one person who's having a phone and does not. Uh, you cannot see any signs of lack of sleep in on his or her face but another person you can see that this person has a phone but he also ha he also is having trouble sleeping so i would like to say that this does not uh, this does not uh, this is not the technology's fault but the pa the individual fault thank you any challenge Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to oppose the point that one of the members said. They said technology helps in transport, but to put yourself in my shoes, technology makes people. Some of the technology, like airplanes, cause more accidents, and they make people lose their life and increase the population in our modern life. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to say a challenge to my fellow pupil from another school. I'd like to challenge the point which he said that most people will, will try not to do their, their chores because of games and technology. Also, technology helped do chores like dishwashers and vacuum cleaners.
thank you mr speaker for giving me this opportunity to oppose the to clear what my friend there has said what is the use of your hands Silence, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, uh, for giving me this rare chance to uh, challenge my friend here. He said, what is the use of hands, right? So let me tell you the use of hands. Hands are are part of the human body. If you like, you cannot like make the human body work for like 24 hours straight. So that's why we have machines that technology developed, that technology de developed to help us. That's why technology is doing, developing more and more today and it's not going like downhill. So let's say, let me tell you, technology, uh, that, the use of hands cannot help us in doing anything, anything technical, like um, mowing the lawn for like 24 hours. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to oppose what she said earlier. Um, I think you've learned science, right? Um, a teen, she will, are you supposed to sleep for about eight to nine hours? That's why when we say that when you use a phone more regularly at night, that's cause like, like you are stimulated, you are, your mind is stimulated and you are not able to think straight, right? You are not able to think straight. That's why I'm opposing the mo I'm proposing the motion that says technology has done more harm than good. When you're using your phone in the morning, like we have preps in the morning, what can you, you are, you are having sleep in the morning because you've used your phone at night. You want to read, you have, you have, you're having your cards in the morning and you want to read. You can't think straight. And that's why I'm saying that lack of sleep. I'm saying that harm than good in the society. Thank you. Order, order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to speak. I'd like to challenge the oppose the motion that says technology has done more harm than good, mainly because when it comes to national defenses, technology has helped in creation of armed vehicles, submarines, and many more that ensures that country is not invaded by enemies. Any challenge? Come forward, my friend. Okay, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. I'd like to, like to challenge what you've said. If you've gotten more deeper and deeper into books, you could have learned about the Napoleon warfare. They did war even without the technology of submarines and everything that you've said, armed vehicles, everything. And they won the war. That's why like, you should think straight before coming and saying anything. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to speak. I would like to challenge my fellow friend here. And it's why it took them very long to, to win that fight. Okay. Sorry. I would like to post the, propose the motion that says technology has done more harm than good. 
te technology, te modern forms of technology like like industries, industrial machines pro pollute the environment by by increasing the rate at which people die. For example, like air pollution, the the gases from industries like carbo carbon dioxide. Thank you. Any challenge? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to speak. I would like to challenge my fellow students who would say that there will be air pollution. But most that air pollution, those industries are helping us. Let's say food processing, they're helping us. If there were no food, how will we get those processed food? Let's say like tea, cocoa, coffee, those things. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to oppose what she has said. But there's farms, there's farmers. We can, we can do agriculture and get our food. So what are you trying to mean? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for, me, for giving me this opportunity to speak. My fellow students say that uh, there is uh, there is agriculture they can use it. Okay, let me say that you, you you planted tea. How can you how can you like have it? How can you consume it without going to the industry? Even if the the farmers could have planted it and could have ha had it, no tea would have been here in Kenya now. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving this chance to correct what she has said. The foods that are processed there, they have harmful chemicals, which cause cancer, lung, uh, which cause cancer, heart problem, and high blood pressure. Without scan, how did you know that you have cancer? Any ch Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving the opportunity to say in the past there were no there were no modern food like People used to use traditional foods, and they and they did not give out any effects or any negative problems. So, coffee. That the time that you use the technology to process coffee, you leave some you leave some chemicals that may cause heart problems and that may increase the number of people in the society. like to challenge my fellow friend here say that we will have heart cancer if you ha if the if the technology is not there how would you know that you have heart cancer for what thank you mr speaker for giving me this opportunity to say that heart cancer is brought by by technology because of the kind of food we eat. So technology, I don't think it's right for our world. Hey.
Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to speak. I'd like to say that even if you have cancer, you can get chemotherapy by the use of modern technology. Come forward. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to say that. Actually, even if you do whatever you've just said, cancer has no cure. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. I'd like, to, I'd like to say that even if it doesn't cure it, some people who had cancer got better because of it. Any challenge? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to oppose what my members just said. For you to get that therapy, you need to use a lot of money, and money is not available because people have to go to people have to work and the work that used to be done by humans are now taken over by technology so we don't get enough money to use to cure cancer or to cure any disease because we have to use a lot of money thank you mr speaker for giving me this opportunity i'd like to say that um, how did technology take away it gave it it gave us advantages so that even with technology, people can think about more important stuff like global warming. Any challenge? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to say, to oppose, to propose the motion that says technology has brought more harm than good. This is because people nowadays can use technology to send their videos, but if you use your phone to send your videos, by mistake you can send your embarrassing videos and they can enroll into the world and people can judge you and you'll be isolated from the world. Hey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. I would like to say technology has brought more good than harm because many hospitals use technology. They use for various purposes such as x-rays, CT scans, and chemotherapy and to find the diseases we have and to cure the diseases we have. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. I would like to say con to oppose what my friends said over there. You say that people should think more about global warming, isn't, th isn't it that? So, isn't global warming caused by industries? Is industries not technology, I don't think? Okay, if not about industries, industries have caused global warming. And if glo global warming continues, we can talk about them. Arctic, it can melt, other mountains can also, also melt, and the world can be subsized in water, and thus leading to death. Thank you. Okay. Order, please. Thank you. I'd like to challenge back my rival again because, because he said that global warming. Uh, let me just say this thing before I even start with anything. Every good thing must have a, must have a bad condition stick onto it on the back. So, if 
industries are helping us, you know, like uh, are co creating uh, pollution and stuff like that. They're actually they're also helping us in. So uh, they are also helping us in uh, food, uh, food production, manufacturing stuff, uh, so that we manufacturing gold and stuff we can like buy to get uh, to earn ourselves the money. So let me just say this: to con if you s if you just since it's doing you this good, I say bear the little problems that it has st uh, sticking on the back. Thank you. So thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to oppose the motion that says, to propose the motion that says, technology has done more harm than good, simply because through the addiction of technology, it leads to time wastage. And this may cause the addiction of technology, you, you may lose your eyesight. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to oppose. Technology has brought more harm than good, simply because technology has brought a way for us to communicate with each other using mobile phones. Thank you. Any, any challenge? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this chance to oppose the motion that says, to propose the motion that says technology has done more harm than good. Even though there is modern technology, there, the vaccines for some diseases like malaria have been, have tried, have been seeked but have not been found. Malaria is not curable yet. Why? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to oppose. I would simply like to see the motion that technology has brought more harm than good because architect in in the old times architects used to use a paper to draw their design, but I never, but never, no one used to get their no no one used to get their attention. But in the modern technology, um, they started. The Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for giving me this opportunity. I would like to oppose the motion that says technology has brought more harm than good simply because without technology, there would be no elevators. And if there was no elevators, people would have to climb stairs. And people will have trouble climbing stairs, especially the elderly people and the sick. Thank you. No challenge, just a point. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving the opportunity to support the motion that say technology has done more harm than good, simply because technology can make children engage in bad games and, and, and forget about moral values taught to us by parents or by elders. Thank you. Welcome. Time is up. I would like to call for the chief, Mr. Nicholas. Thank you. Good evening once again. Good evening. Yes, I'm here to criticize on both sides of the divide. And um, it has been a good debate. Uh, the following are some of the areas that I found we need to polish on one. We are very shy. 
uh, most of us are sharing on the camera. Your voice is too low. Please, next time, you be audible and also confident. Start, stand on your two feet. Don't shake, okay? Number two, once you come on the floor, uh, be sure if you are proposing or you are opposing the motion. Then number three, one of the speakers has said, mountains melting. It's the ice on the mountain that's melting due to global warming. Secondly, cancer has no cure. I would not really subscribe to that because at stage one, when you go for cancer screening, uh, it can actually be cured and it has been scientifically proven. And then, lastly, our there is a speaker who had talked of uh, technology helping us to, you know, find food. It's not very clear. How does it? Please elaborate on how do you get food from technology? How does technology and food connect? Elaborate on the parameters, if it's agro, agribusiness, if it's uh, uh, agriculture based on the research, the seedlings, please uh, make your point clear. Then lastly, food can only be produced, not published. Somebody has used that point. Uh, the word is produce, not published. Books are published. Thank you very much. Let me invite the secretaries to take us to the next level. Thank you. The fifth, should I start? The fifth point is digital technology in medical sector, e.g. winning battles against cancer. Then we had uh, water filters to curb the spread of diseases. We had invention of armed vehicles and submarines. Then we had the uh, use of technology in housing that is helping people get good money. And the last one was about the use of windmills and dams as sources of fuel. Uh, those are nine points from Al Hikma. Good evening. Good evening. Um, so we have uh, points from uh, AIPCA Bahati. So the first point was about obesity, cyberbullying, and lack of sleep. And then the, fifth, uh, the second point was about limited communication among people. And then we had uh, um, emission of gases uh, due to technology. And then um, we had a promotion of uh, 
farmers in organic farming and also uh, it was incorporated with uh, machine replacing workers in uh, farms that is the uh, fifth point then the sixth one was causes it causes uh, diseases such as cancer and other um, and other diseases. Then the next one was uh, causes uh, global warming. And then the other one was uh, challenges because uh, technology, um, uh, one of the people uh, challenged why didn't you find the cure of the diseases said, yet technology has been good. And then technology has reduced the lifespan to about 65 years and also it has led to corruption. So that is a total of nine points. Order. Order.
Hello everyone. Have you enjoyed the debate? Huh? Should we do this again next time? Yes. How many are ready? How many are ready? Eh? Okay. So I think uh, next time, God willing, if God will give us that opportunity, we'll uh, do a mjadala or we'll do another activity that pertains to language. Eh? So I'm here to just do a small assignment. Uh, we have discussed well, and we have talked well, and uh, I'm not here to tell who has won and who has not won, eh? <laughs> yeah, but uh, all of you have done well, so both sides had nine points each, so can you clap for yourselves? Yes, so I hope next time we'll have a, a winner uh, from either side, but for today all of you have gotten nine points each, uh, and we have tried to look at them. Uh, in details. So that's how you're performed. So thank you very much for taking part in the debate. Thank you, Ali Kima. Uh, have you ever seen me in your school? You have never seen me? How many have you ever seen me in their school, Ali Kima? Uh -huh. Yes, I've been there severally with teacher Christopher. He has been a good friend for a long time. And I hope the friendship will still continue. We'll do so many activities in future together. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Teacher Nicholas and uh, Teacher Edna, Teacher Edna and Charlene. Can you clap for Charlene and the other teachers who have come today? Yes, so thank you very much. Uh, so we want to pray so that we can finish our debate. Then uh, the teachers from Alikima will remain a little bit as the others will be going to the bus. Uh, will remain for some few minutes. Uh, then uh, we'll just hold you for five to ten minutes, then we'll release you. So let's stand up and uh, those who are leading us in prayers can come. So let's start from which side? Uh, let's start from this side. Uh, APCA, then Alikima. Let's bow our head for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you this afternoon. We thank you for this day. Almighty God, thank you for our debate. It has been good and enjoyable, Almighty God. Let's next time do best like, but this Almighty God, in the name of The Holy Spirit, we pray and believe. Amen. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Arrahmanir rahim. Maliki yawmiddin. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين ما شاء الله سو عليكم اي ثينك Kima, you can go to the bus. They are to remain with your teachers.